Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and today we are talking about Quixel Mega Scans because it just got a pretty sizable upgrade. Now first off, a bit of a backstory about what the heck we are talking about here. Let's start with a Quixel, then a Mega Scans, and then the upgrade in question. Now, first off, Quixel is a company that was purchased by Epic Games uh, about three years ago. They're a Swedish company and their biggest claim to fame was their Mega Scans archive. Now this is basically a, a repository of PBR textures and 3D objects they've scanned using photogrammetry. It is a huge library of assets available. Now, on top of that, they make a couple of other products of note. I've talked about all of them on this channel. If you're interested in learning more, they also make Bridge, which we will feature in today's video, as well as Mixer. But Megascans is the biggie. Now, Megascans, again, is this massive scan library of real-world textures. And since they were purchased by Epic Games, you can actually use these completely for free inside of Unreal Engine. And in Unreal Engine 5, it's actually directly integrated, which we will also see in action later in this video. Now, the reason why they got this massive upgrade is they bought a company called RD Textures. It is now part of Quixel Mega Scans. Uh, the guy behind RD Texture is now going to work on the Mega Scans team. And the entire archive of RD Texture scans is now accessible inside of Mega Scans. What that means, if you are an Unreal Engine developer, you just got a huge new selection of textures available to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Now, first thing, you can access these things using Quixel Bridge. By the way, uh, with Quixel Bridge, you can actually um, export out to uh, Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender. You could set it up to work with Godot. Um, it, it's kind of a universal interchange program for accessing your textures. You can also hook up your own local textures using Bridge. And Bridge, thus the name, bridges the space between the textures and your 3D application or game engine of choice. Now, one thing you'll notice, if you come into Bridge, everything is available here. There's something like... 16,000 textures or something like that. Yeah, 16,460 assets in here. Well, since they now purchased um, RDT, what you just search for is RDT. All of their textures have already been incorporated into the Quixel library. So you kind of just use this like normal. If you wanted to find a bark texture, for example, you just search for bark. And if RDT made a bark texture, it is now integrated. But you can also search for just specifically the RD texture stuff in Quixel by using the tag RDT. And here you're gonna get an idea of how many textures they have available. And it doesn't look like much because that scroll bar is near the bottom, but yeah, this is one of those infinite scrolling kind of sites. Uh, so it's a pretty sizable collection of high quality textures that were just added in, which is quite nice. Now let's say you wanted to have this uh, grassy cobblestone. You could go ahead, click it, download it, and then send it off to your program of choice. When you are working in Quixel Bridge, you can set up a number of export targets. But if you're using Unreal Engine 5, as I promised earlier on, we're going to see that in action right now too. With Unreal Engine 5, Quixel um, Megascan stuff is directly integrated. By the way, um, the uh, Mega Scan stuff is completely free to use for Unreal Engine developers. If you're using it in another game engine, there is a licensing cost. But when Epic bought them, they also reduced the price, which was, hey, kind of nice of them. All right, so here we are in the environment. Let's go ahead and create, uh, let's create a shape in the world. So let's create the sphere right here. Scale that up a little bit, bring it closer to the camera. All right, there we go. So let's say we want to add a texture to this guy. Well, it's actually integrated directly now. So you come up here, Content and Quixel Bridge. And Quixel Bridge is a window. You can actually dock it like any other window. So if we want it, we could dock that off to the side right here. Uh, and this is sort of the same interface. So let's say I just want to search for the RDT textures like so. Uh, go ahead and find the texture that I want to use. So let's go ahead and use uh, this, whatever this is. Go ahead, download it. You can pick the quality. I think they go all the way up to 8K in resolution. Uh, so it is downloaded and ready to go. So if I come over, I believe it's right here, you're going to see my library of locally available text. So close that down. Here are the assets I have downloaded. And then to use these things in Unreal Engine, yeah, drag, drop. Oops. Okay, I missed my drop. You get the idea. Created a sphere for me. And there is the entity in the game world ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I mix, missed my drop, so we're getting a created one in the scene. But there you can see um, the, the texture comes in very high quality, uh, high resolution, and so on. This is functionality that has been there uh, for about a year and a half now since they bought and integrated uh, Megascans directly. And obviously, we are in a preview edition of uh, Unreal Engine 5, but you can see how this massive library of textures can be used in your game. So let's, again, let's say we wanted to bring in Brick. This is one I downloaded earlier on. They're all downloaded and working locally. All right, did that come in? And 
there we go. And yet again, we've made another new entity. But as you see here, really high resolution, high detail. All the textures are brought over. So it gives you this huge library of textures and such that you can bring in. And once again, with this purchase, all this RDT stuff, all of these new textures are now integrated directly into the Quixel library. So if you are using Mega Scans with UE4 or UE5, you have a thousand plus new textures to work with because of the all these scans are available now uh, and if you are an existing customer uh, there are some details on that so um, they are still accessible for now um, you still have access to all your purchasing and download them from our RD texture websites until April 3rd not a lot of time uh, from then you can access them via Quixel and Mega Scans. Object scans will not be available in Mega Scans, so they must be downloaded before April the 3rd. So not giving you a ton of time to get your stuff out, but if you are an existing customer, uh, you do get access to it. And generally, let's just say Epic Games treats developers right, so they're, they're not going to screw anybody with this uh, acquisition at all, for sure. Now again, this did happen about a week ago. Someone gave me a heads up on it. I checked it out then. Unfortunately, there was no news other than the announcement. They weren't integrated yet, and they weren't available yet. So if you came and looked inside of uh, Quixel Bridge, for example, there was nothing here, nothing to really show or showcase. But as of today, all of the RD texture stuff is now integrated directly into Quixel Omega Scans. So there is a ton of new content for you to work with. And I think this is really going to change the way a lot of people work when you have um, this huge library of textures basically available drag and drop on demand for free. Uh, if, especially if you're working in kind of trying to create a realistic game. Ooh, that is so creepy. If you're trying to create a realistic game of some kind, uh, this is just an invaluable tool. And one more like kind of big feather in the cap for why you would choose Unreal Engine over other uh, game engines or other technologies. Uh, and the fact that they just grew it by adding these RD textures in. Definitely a nice little upgrade. So let me know what you think of this, of Quixel in general, of the RD textures, um, texture set being added in. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.